Hello class, today we're going to be focusing on the homework was, that was given today and it's on Tuesday, um, July 14th. So we're going to go with the first question, angle 2 and angle 12. What are they? So angle 2 is over here, as we can say, and angle 12 is all the way over here. Awesome. So as you can tell, this is it's outside and this is the inside, but it, because it's in the middle of the two parallel lines over here, that means there are alternative interior angles. So I'm going to put alternative interior angles. And the reason why, because if we're looking through our notes that we've took today in class, everything is inside. The only thing, only angles that are exterior are 10, 1, 16, and 19. Why? Because they're the edges of the parallel lines. Now let's move on to the second section. That will be part number 12. So 6 and 18. So now I'm going to use a different color. And make sure that you also highlight different colors when you're doing different problems so you can identify what you're going to be focusing on. So number six, angle number 6 is over here. And then angle 18 over here. So if I look at my notes today that we took our notes, I'll be looking and then one will make sense. Oh, wait, corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are ones that are... For example, over here, 5 and 6. So we always skip an angle. So right here we have a 6. We skip this angle, and then we have 18 over here. And this will be called corresponding angles. So make sure you're looking into your notes. Angles. And identify how angle 6 and 18 are related. And the way we can do it is by corresponding angles. And I know it might be a little confusing because we have two triangles over here. But if we pretty much tilt a little bit the paper on the side, you'll be able to identify that 6 and 18 are corresponding angles. Awesome. Now we're going to do 13 and 19. So 13, remember, switch color, if you have already identified that. So 13 and 19. So where is 13? Over here. Here we go. You circle it and 19 over here. So 19 is going to be in the outside over here. So as you can tell, this is going to be out and this is going to be in the parallel lines but it's pretty much going to be in the outside so this is going to be called alternative exterior angles exterior angles and then if we look into our notes we can actually identify that one has to be in the outside and one has to be in the inside and they have to be opposite so if you can see by crossing they will be in the opposite side now we go to Problem number 14, and we're going to be switching colors once again. So angle 11 and angle 7. So angle 11 is over here, and angle 7 is over here. So when the, if we do a little uniting over here, they're in the same spot, like in the same box. So this is, if I look into my notes once again, it's called consecutive interior angles. And the reason why it's consecutive interior angles is because these two angles are in the side of these two parallel lines. If this was in the outside, it would be called consecutive angles, exterior angles. But because it's in the inside, it's called consecutive interior angles. So just these are the answers for problems 11 to 14. If you still have any questions, please feel to contact me and I'll explain more in detail of these problems.